Today we're going to discuss on the Kenwood THD-74 how to program the radio for APRS operations. So I have my radio set in the default position. Uh, I did program my D-Star and I'll be showing uh, you a demonstration of why I've done that a little bit later on. So first I want you to look at the button. Again, look at the buttons so that uh, you're not uh, you have to kind of navigate these buttons. They're real easy, but you have to understand that um, pushing the function button enables the commands uh, where the yellow uh, script is. Um, the radio it, uh, should be set in the dual function mode. So what you do is you hit function dual, or you could toggle back and forth to single or dual. Now the next thing is, on for each band, if you're going to program like a frequency or change a frequency, you have to highlight it. So by pushing it here, I've highlighted the B band. I've highlighted the B band. And what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and enter the APRS frequency. So push enter, 144390. And there's the APRS frequency. Now, next thing I want to do is go to the, the uh, main menus. So push menu. Go up here to APRS. Hit uh, enter. And in the basic settings. Basic settings is where you're going to put your call sign. So hit enter again. Hit the uh, AB button to back out. No call. Put your call sign in. Now you can use the key function or you can use uh, the encoder. I found it's a little bit faster to use the, um, the keys. You could use the um, multifunction um, switch here, or they call it sometimes people call it a joyce, joystick to uh, change the uh, next column. It will automatically do it. Um, let's see, so you got W6GPS, get the S in there. Now once you get the call sign, and if you have a, like a SID or something like that, you can add it afterwards, but when you get the uh, cursor uh, empty, hit enter, and there's your call sign. Icons of person, you can dial up uh, different uh, icons. Uh, I always like to use Kenwood, because it's a Kenwood radio. Uh, you got a, a position comment and service, and these are, these are the standard uh, comments that you have, and you can make kind of some custom ones too. So let me go back out of here to uh, in service. That's a good one. Status text. Now, what I can do here is the status text. You can um, set the rate um, for uh, every fourth beacon or a one to one. I'm just going to put every fourth beacon. Uh, let me back out of here. Let me back out of here. I don't have any text in it, so let me go ahead and just put that uh, uh, a little bit of text in here, and just a simple quote, hi, day, I know this is painfully slow for you guys. So I just put hi day dawn. So when uh, when that's transmitted um, every fourth beacon, they'll see a little message. Just take the default on the uh, packet path for right now, the speed. Now, uh, what I suggest you do, and my experience with this radio, is choose the B band. Uh, to keep the D star on the uh, A band and the APRS or other functions, like if you want to do your shortwave receiving, you can do that on the B band. For some reason, you do your APRS and it's not transmitting, make sure that uh, B band selected and that your APRS frequency is selected on the B band also. All these things are all these things are uh, uh, the standard. Uh, defaults that I've taken. 
and we're back to the call sign. Like I said, back out. And so now we're ready to activate the APRS uh, TNC. And to do that, you hit function and list. Now you see APRS 12. That's for APRS. If you do this uh, function list KISS 12, and if you do it again, it turns it off. Um, and there's one more, th one more thing I forgot to uh, add. And so we're going to go back into the menu, APRS, uh, trans trans transmit control. Uh, instead of auto, let's go ahead and just put that to manual. And when, uh, when it's in manual mode, every time you hit the word beacon or BCN, it sends out a, um, a transmission. Um, let's see, speed, altitude... Eh, we'll turn all that off. All that um, that's for uh, smart beaconing and out. So let's go ahead and go back out of here. QSY information. Now I'm going to give you a demonstration at the end of this video what this does. But I'm going to go ahead and turn all this on. Turn all this on. And what it does is is it will um, except for uh, QSY limit distance. We're going to just keep that off right now. But what it does, what this QSY information does is when the radio is transmitting, if you're on uh, the A band on a frequency, either an analog repeater or D star, it will send that, st that information to the APRS network. And if someone else has a, uh, a radio like the 74 and they see uh, uh, your. Um, QSY information in the list, they can uh, quickly tune to that. So what we're going to do, we'll, we'll, I'll show you a demonstration of that. Smart beaconing, I just take the defaults for right now. Uh, waypoint, going to change that to Kenwood. You can use the encoder or you can go up and down. Length, uh, I'm just always used to nine characters. Output all. You can put a little message here. You could uh, user phrases. We're, we're going to um, we're going to uh, forego that right now. Notification. You got a beep. Special call sign if a, if uh, a friend of yours uh, sends a that you want to, a special uh, uh, a notification. Uh, put the call sign in there. So now display area uh, entire always. Uh, means everything that comes up it's gonna it's going to uh, show that information on the full screen you could do one line uh, one line is will be just a, a little bar up here and I'll sh I'm just gonna set that to, I'm gonna I gonna put entire always because it makes for a better uh, better presentation voice uh, APRS voice I want to go ahead and turn that on and what that is is um, what that does is is that will um, uh, if someone else has a voice announce or voice alert on um, their radio, instead of you hearing all the beeps and all the packets and all that, if they're close by, it's then uh, it will let you know that that they're close to you. That maybe you can do a um, a um, simplex call too. So that's what voice alerts all about. So we're going to back out that. Here's some others, um, PC output, voice alert, going to turn on, uh, let's go to, let's just back it out, oh, we're backing out. Now, another thing to consider is uh, power. So right up here, you have the H for high power, and just like the D72 uses, uh, in fact, a lot of the buttons, you're, if you had a D72, it's going to be very, very familiar. But you're going to look here on the word low, right here, the word low, and function. And every time when you toggle, don't get confused by the menu there, but every time you're toggling, every time you're toggling, the power changes. So right there is extra low power. There's a uh, high power. So for this demonstration, we're going to use high power. Now, we're back to uh, our uh, APRS frequency. We got my D-star uh, frequency on A-band. 
and uh, all I have to do is turn APRS on and that is going to be function APRS and we want APRS 12. Now I do have another radio right here at D72 close by and there we go I sent uh, a packet uh, to myself uh, W6GPS1 en route uh, you can go here to list and bring that up once you have that up it won't uh, it won't disappear you could change the right toggle uh, multifunction key right here you can change it you can see the display there's tactical information of course if I was a farther distance you would see that I'm how far I am a vector and what heading I would be at and if I was in the car moving uh, all that information is going to be right here so then this is my position information uh, latitude longitude and things like that well what I've done is I've sent another beacon to me and um, had to kind of fit, do a little figuring out here so I can show you when you're in this this um, mode right here if you want to go back to the main screen um, instead of pushing top and clear and doing a whole just hit uh, list and APRS and that takes you back uh, to the uh, A and B VFOs and the main screen now you see the um, we're still on the uh, Chattanooga repeater or the D star repeater Chattanooga uh, D star repeater and when I hit list I say oh there's my call sign or uh, for I'm using my call sign of course but another st out station and I want to kind of maybe look at that information but what I notice is is he's got his status of what frequency uh, the other radio the radios on that he's transmitting so if you go to menu and there's a tune sort and filter but if you hit tune remember I was on a D star frequency there you go that way you can have instant QSY plus it enables the a band or the band that you want to talk to uh, so you can make a quick uh, contact uh, on that um, either simplex or repeater frequency but after I'm done I say hey I want to go back to my uh, D star uh, repeater or go back to digital mode I push that and we're back to gear there so I'm gonna have to do a little setting up here and I'll be back with you and show you what happens uh, when your status is sent on the um, with D star uh, active on your A band okay what I've done is I've sent a, um, a beacon to my D72 and there is my um, information and it says that I'm on the W4PL D star repeater and right there D star it's an abbreviation that I'm D star capable and there's that high day dawn, that little message I put in there. So, if you had another D-Star radio, a Kenwood 74, and you, you can tune right to that person's frequency. And that's what the QSY function is all about. Now I've got a couple things here going on. On the list, I've got, this is my analog radio. I hit menu, and it shows a tune frequency and I can go up here and tune it then I have the instant QSY now I go back to list and go here this is my um, my D star information from this radio that uh, the digipeter repeated back to me if I go to menu and it will tune to back to the D star frequency so that's kind of a nice uh, feature to have so if you see one of your friends on uh, beacons and he has a D star status and it's uh, in the QSY mode you can easily tune to where your friend is so there you go simple uh, APRS operations with a Kenwood D74 handy talking and I wanted to uh, reiterate 
on the right hand side of the screen, here's the basic settings. There is a whole lot more involved in APRS than thus these basic settings.